How Okotoks Water Works Today Okotoks is known as a leader in water stewardship, and our award-winning conservation strategies have ensured that our community has a secure source of water for the current population. Our water supply comes from the Sheep River, through 13 groundwater wells that draw from the river, rain, and runoff. Through the town's current water license allocations, we can withdraw water from the Sheep River for approximately 35,500 people, which means we can accommodate 6,000 more people or nine years of growth. The town has enough for the additional people and businesses who will move to the new Darcy and Wedderburn neighborhoods, as well as Air Ranch, Cimarron, and Mountain View. Having enough water is one component of providing this service to our community. The capacity of our water treatment plant also influences how large a population the town can service with drinkable water. On an average day, the town's water treatment plant processes 7.5 million liters of drinkable water, which is enough for our community's needs. However, during particularly hot, dry summers, this can rise to approximately 12.5 million liters per day. Demand is usually 7 to 8 million liters per day, but during high demand summer months, this can increase to more than 12.5 million on outdoor watering days. This high use creates a shortfall between demand and supply, which has to be accessed from our reservoirs. This is the only time the town is challenged to withdraw enough water to meet demand. You may not realize that almost 80% of the gray and black water treated by our wastewater treatment plant is eventually returned to the Sheep River as high quality clean water. Over the past decade, growth pressure from proposed developments along Okotoks boundaries prompted the town to annex land around our border so we could manage this steady growth pressure and align future developments with our sustainable community vision. In April 2016, the town of Okotoks and Foothills County formally agreed to transfer approximately 4,900 acres of land into the Okotoks town boundary. And in July 2017, the government of Alberta approved this annexation. This is estimated to meet demand for 60 years of growth. Properties in the annexed lands are on well water and do not have access to the town water system, drinkable water, and wastewater treatment. Most undeveloped lands in the annexed areas will remain untouched for several years, as there is an extensive process before the town approves new community development. Land use approvals are only authorized after the developer meets the requirement of the town's water allocation policy and provides the town with an Alberta Environment and Parks, or AEP approved water license, which is transferable to the town for the planned lands. The water license must support the increased population expected for the area planned for development. In other words, developers are required to bring water to support their development. In 2019, the town announced a future change to the water policy, so the town will purchase water licenses in bulk and assign them to developers as needed. This will simplify the process for the developer, the government, and the town, making the approval process more efficient. The cost for these water licenses will be covered by the developer. The water licensing process is an interim solution to allow Okotoks to continue to grow while the town works to secure a long-term solution to provide supplemental water when needed. A previous decision to pursue an Okotoks Calgary pipeline was identified as no longer feasible in 2017 to 2018. It is not a possibility because of the current provincial regulatory process, which requires Calgary to transfer a water license to Okotoks. Previously, communities like Airdrie, Strathmore, and Chestermere were able to connect to the Calgary water system without requiring a water license transfer. AEP, as the regulatory body of water pipelines, has indicated that a water license transfer to allow water to flow outside of a municipal boundary is a mandatory requirement. Having to access Calgary water through water licensing fundamentally changes the cost-benefit equation of the Calgary solution. This has provided unforeseen opportunities that have more long-term benefits for Okotoks and the region. The alternate long-term solution the town is currently exploring would involve bringing raw water from the Bow River to the Okotoks water treatment plant for processing and distribution. There are significant benefits to this regional supplementary water system, including lower capital costs, lower overall cost of ownership, along with a greater chance that water licenses and transfers will be approved by the provincial government. It also gives us greater control and increased security to a long-term water supply. In December 2019, 
Okotoks Town Council adjusted the timeline in the 10-year capital plan to extend construction on a supplemental water pipeline until 2024. Extending the time frame creates an opportunity for the town to work with our regional partners, Foothills County, to create detailed designs for this alternative solution. The town expects that detailed designs, approvals, and funding will be in place by 2024. Once construction begins, the pipeline and associated infrastructure will be constructed in a phased approach. It is estimated that the project would be completed within two years. We are working hard behind the scenes to make important decisions about this alternate regional option. We will share more information soon, so stay tuned. Visit www.okotoks.ca slash water solution for updates.